do number six because I think it's a little bit different. So um, for this one, you have some data and they want you to plot these points on your graphic display calculator. Okay, fine. It's the second part. Determine whether this is linear growth or an exponential growth. I think that's why they're asking you this, although you could check by saying um, 7 divided by 5 should be roughly the same as 11 divided by 7, should be roughly the same as 11 divided by 14. But you'll notice because it's real data, it won't be exact. And so it may be exponential, but it, these numbers may not match exactly, and it's hard to tell. It's better to just graph it and take a look. So if you go to your calculator, uh, you'll find something like this, statistics. And you'll go there, you'll have a table. If you've got data like this, um, already numbers in it, uh, let's get rid of it. There we go. So I'm going to type in the data. Three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17. And then on the next column, 5, 7, 11, 15, 23, 31, 45, 64, and 92. Okay, and then you'll see something like this. Uh, so I'm ready to graph, so I'm going to graph this thing, and it should set it for you. If you're using a TI-84, it's a little bit more work because you might have to set your window um, so you might have to play with it. It'll, it seems like the Casio does it automatically for you. So this to me certainly doesn't look linear, and it looks like it's growing exponentially. If I'm given those two choices, definitely uh, exponentially. Now you might see a button here like calculate. Um, I think let's take a look, see what else they have here. So if I go back, um, you can do two variable stats. And we've done that before. That's not what we're looking for here. What we're looking for is to make a best fit line. And you'll get some different choices. So if you go in this side menu here, there'll be an exponential choice. Okay. There's other ones, but we'll be looking at exponential, next class, logarithms, and then eventually trig, so a sine curve. So let's stick with exponential, something like this. Now they give you a choice here of these two. And you see how this one has a constant in front of the x, which is like that plus c that we did. It's just, is it raised or not? If you're not sure, you can select this one. I don't think it'll make a difference, but I think this one goes right through one here it looks pretty normal so I might choose this one but if you're not sure choose this one in fact I'll do both just to take a look I'm curious so if I take a look at this they tell you it'll be 4.23 times 1.2 raised to the power of x and your r squared value is 0.999 that's like your best fit the closer this is to one remember the better and that's pretty darn good. So let's draw that. There we go. So indeed, I plotted these points. And if I have to do this on a piece of paper, then no problem. I can do that. I've got the data points here. And determine whether or not it is linear growth or exponential. Definitely exponential. Find a suitable equation. Done that and hence estimate the length after 10 weeks. So what I can do is just put 10 weeks into my calculator uh, to find that out. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna try this guy, this one, see if it changes things. And you'll notice here it does it change things. Um, Not really. It, it, well, it does. It, it actually gives you a different because it uses a base E here. 4.23 times E raised to the power of 0.18x, and it's still a very decent fit. In HL, I'm going to do a separate little bit on that and to show you that these things are the same, but uh, for now, you can use either one. So. I prefer this one. So I just noticed there that what the difference was. There was an E here. So that's a, a special number, 2.71828. Just like pi, it's an irrational number. 
more on that one later. So stick with this one. There we go. Okay, um, that's about it. I think that answers the question. I didn't do 10 weeks, but just write out this equation and then you can do you can do that. I think if you copy it here, it puts it in here for you. So that's very nice. Uh, or does it? You would think I could choose it here. Hmm. I don't know. How, oh, there it is. In fact, I done it. I did it twice. Anyway, I'd rather just do it by hand. That's it.